Hey everybody, it's Sander, and welcome back to How to Date a Magical Girl, right? And last we left off, well, this is the week of exams, I, right? 716, right? Uh, yeah. The exams are just a few days away. Which means, while I... I, I, I am gonna try and keep getting Addison's scores up. See if I can get them all to A. It's definitely not gonna happen before the exams. I am almost positive. What I really wanna do, though, is try and get Hikari up to 10 and get the first date event with her. Because I figure I owe it to at least all of them to do that. I actually no longer know which character I think I'm leaning towards, really. Each of them are interesting in their own way. I really do appreciate that, how they've been written out, and uh, especially with the the events of them of uh, kind of, you know, full about the characters, their quirks and everything. So I, I really don't know. So yeah, yeah, I'll just have to do some more thinking and, well, interacting with the characters and see. But uh, yeah, okay, so I believe uh, Hikari's in the classroom, so I'll go and talk to her. Just being creepy again. Um, I don't think I have a gift for you. You want the gloves? Sure. Wow, what a nice gift. I never finished this such a thing from you, Addison. Hey, I, I do care about my friends, okay? Just fuck off. Thanks for the gift. I'm really happy with it. I guess you can consider it uh, a... Well, uh, what would um, I guess you can consider it a, uh, a good luck present or the uh, motivation for the upcoming exam I'm, I'm bullshitting here I'll, I'll really admit that thanks for the gift I'm really happy with it Hikari's affection is increased by three uh damn but yeah okay but then I will be to go on to it with her next time so yeah hang out Hang with a car and realize I'm absolutely bursting these about. Oh, really? Okay, fuck off. <laughs> and now it'll be a 10. Hello. Uh, what was the schedule again? You're in the department store, you're in the hallway. Uh, I get, wait, what was that at teachers? Be nice to your teachers, something, something. Let me guess. There's little lines of because you'll, you'll never know how long they'll be there for or something like that. Fucking read a book. Uh, I haven't started yet. Oh, I better go and read it anyway because it's the last book. Okay, yeah. Time to get some sleep. Tempting, very tempting for me. <laughs> I'm still going. I'm trying to do a massive batch recording now. Right. Uh, what's today's schedule? Rooftop, field, park. Of course, you're unavailable. In that case, I guess we'll be talking to you in the field. Oh, they're doing their best. Okay. Uh, class has passed by slowly today, much like how my thoughts are moving through my brain. Only two more days till exams. Yay. Right. Um. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Can I? Uh, who was where again? You're in the park tonight. Right now, you two on the. Okay, I'll go talk to Carrie then. Seeing as how she's at just flat out ten. Uh, rooftop. I don't have anything for you, do I? No. In that time, in that case, we'll just. Yes, I'm aware. Hang out. Anything new after that, or... Let's go about politics once it goes off. Yeah, okay, now. Just... Typical. Yep. All right. And further reading. So, at this point, everything is just sort of... You know, status quo. Normal. Which <laughs> the massive amount of tension and stress probably come at well. I say that. But Addison, given her nature, she may just kind of be like... 
the, of the exam. Dead that serious. Nah, better better go to sleep. Right. Okay. Uh, so there tomorrow. But we do learn a new potion today. So there's that. And what's the schedule? Oh, good. You're actually here. Okay. <laughs> uh, and so are you. Uh, in that case, we'll just go straight to school. Now, now, I know you all have exams in your mind. So today's lesson should be short and sweet. I'll teach you how to brew a su the sucker potion. They say a sucker's born every minute, and that's completely true. Sell somebody this completely useless potion and make a small fortune. Here's how you make it. Professor, this seems a little illegal to me, don't This, <laughs> this is like, is this basically just a, like, the magical version of, uh... Well, this is just snake oil cells. This is that's exactly what this is. It's just like here, you know, just have a bottle of alcohol, put some, you know, I don't know, powder in it and say it's, a, you know, some kind of uh, hyper potent medicine. I don't know how to make a sucker potion. That's all there is to it. Bring one up and then take it to someone who has a pension for buying goods. Okay. Who would you give it to? That's a good question. Is a pension for buying goods? Though surely the mesmerized with the sucker potions beauty and offer you a pretty penny. It would have been one of the shops, would it? That because now scuttle off. You go through exams. <laughs> uh, he just runs off and loses his mind. I try to study as hard as possible all day. The exams are tomorrow. Yeah, sure you did. Uh, <laughs> what I want to do is go to the namesake of the uh, devs. Uh, buy one of those. Buy one of those. What? What would... Hmm. Jenny, what would Miyu and... What would Miyu carrying Yui like? Green tea kind of seems like a... Like a Miyu thing to me. Then again, I don't know, maybe she likes... I don't... I haven't been paying attention at all. Coffee, for some reason, I get a... Hmm. I don't know. For some reason, I'm also getting kind of a. I'm gonna get that fine. A pizza. Somehow that just radiates a Kari. I don't know. It's not, It's almost a thousand yen. I'll find out later. Uh, go somewhere else. Where was, uh, not, not calendar, I'm discombobulated. Schedule. Where? Uh, classroom. Right, okay. Uh, I can give you a gift. Uh, d would you like melon soda? I don't remember. She's really happy with it. That's it. Okay, so you're not pretty fond of it. Huh. Well, I mean, this is, this is what testing's for. Okay. Uh, so I'm talking to you. Uh. Oh, I, okay, fine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, another one in town. What'd you like to do? Uh. You? <laughs> hey, Gary. They're, meet me in the arcade about half an hour, okay? It, give me a head start. What? I watched Akari take off at a speed I didn't know she could reach. All, all that sugar sheets, man. <laughs> what is with that girl? She's going to the arcade. I decided to give her the head start she requested. It is only polite. Also, one second. The family store. If you buy a family when you lose one in a tragic accident to the protagonist. I mean, you gotta get one somewhere, right? I'll just wait here and enjoy this mysterious piece of unwrapped candy I found in my pocket. I'm sure it's safe. That It's not candy. <laughs> what? What? Has it been half an hour yet? 
no, only a minute. I guess I could just take a walk to the arcade really silly. What was in your pocket? And how did it get there? I do take my time walking through town, but I'm still five minutes early. I figure I'll sneak up on Akari. We're back here again. Toilet. The, Akari, the arcade is, no, is noisy as usual, and I can't read as usual. And it's full of kids blowing their allowances trying to win cheap toys. They're in the middle of them and not, not much taller, I might add. <laughs> it's Ikari blowing her allowance to try and win a cheap toy. Don't oh, know, why won't you drop you adorable piece of having a hard time? Ned, <laughs> jeez, don't sneak up on me like that. Don't give me a heart attack. If anything's gonna give you a heart attack, it'll be the amount the amount of sweets you eat every day. Yeah. <laughs> why you gotta hurt a girl like that? I'm perfectly healthy and my metabolism is super high. I'm not fat at all. It never said you were fat. Besides, I know you're the energy to burn, Ikari. Guess what I admire about you? Always happy. Always full of energy. Oh, don't do that. Don't make that face. Don't make that face. I can see Ikari's face blush and I realize I was being too mushy. I give myself a mental shake and uh, change the subject. Right, uh, what overly cute piece of cotton filled crap are you trying to win today? Hikari steps to the side and looks a little ashamed, and I can totally see why. You, you, you never told me they finally released the Cutie Star Super Deluxe Mega Plushie! Addison, shh, you're yelling. I don't care. They said there was only gonna be a handful of these released, and you're trying to win the last one without me? I, I, I knew if I told you, you'd get too excited, and I'd never get to hold it. I regain my composure and watch a few mothers ushering their children away from us in fear. Now, now, children, those are called <laughs> those are called otaku, but we leave them alone. Uh, don't be ridiculous. You found one la the, uh, the last one. You should be the one to keep it. I'm totally lying through my teeth. I want to give it to me now. Well, the thing is, Hope Rising, I spent all my allowance trying to win it. Yes! She can't afford it. <laughs> Oh my god, this <laughs> Addison, you're such a horrible person, I love it. Yes! She can't afford to keep trying. It's my shot to win this priceless treasure. Maximum hope achieved. However, I am calling in a super pinky promise ever you made way back when I showed you the QD Star calendar and planner app. Hope. Fading. Win me that blush. Hope. Depleted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's good. Uh, it's like a seraph knight hearing the rite of mercy. Whatever the fuck it's called. I, I can't really say no, can I? No. And don't you dare try and fake not winning it. If you say you have no more money left, I'll drag you away and let someone else sue it on the machine. She really has me over a barrel today. Fine. Stand aside and watch a pro. I drop my money to the machine. The familiar music begins to play and the buttons light up. I begin to sweat. This is truly a game of intelligence and dexterity. I must use all of my training for this. It's a... Is this a crane machine, right? They're rigged. They're always rigged. There's no talent needed. Your buttons up. Right. And enter. The three goddesses from fate from the Greek, from Greek mythology. Oh, sweet and cruel lady luck. Bless this poor totally loving hand so that I may emerge victorious. Move the claw up. Oh gods, did I move it too far? I compose myself. Only to then realize this machine is on a timer. Only 10 seconds left. Crap, crap, crap. I move the claw far to the right. I'm surely done for. I can feel the Kari looming over me like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> I must be victorious. I slam my fist down on the final button. Enter. Oh. I won. Yes! You did it, Addison! I'm so happy I can kiss you! There's an awkward silence between us. You've probably wanted to do that for a while now, but, um, uh, but I won't. Because you're gross. <laughs> that's, that's not the response I was expecting, but it's even better. Mmm! <laughs> Ugh. Ouch. Well, damn. I won it. I bend over to retrieve the glorious plushie and stare into its beautiful stitched eyes. It seemed to radiate malice and whisper mysteries, hidden horrors, knowledge that I should never know. 
It is a life of its own and it radiates evil. <laughs> no! Addison, you won't just hand me over, will you? I'll be forever lost in Akari's mountain of cheap toys. Take me home with you. I know you'll love me ever so tenderly. Well, the plush toy is spoken. Either I'm crazy or just hopeful. I'll go for it, Akari, and see her staring cuting star lovingly. Uh, I can tell Akari really wants this. Possibly more than I do. Who am I to stand in the way of love? I hand the plush to Akari, and she quickly snatches out of my hands. Thank you, Edison. I was almost worried you were going to go back on your promise. Who, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Sweat pouring down her face. Goodbye, my love. My kitty star. Come on, Addison, let's go celebrate a victory. What do you have in mind? No more expensive, please. Let's get snacks in the convenience store. Bless you, Akari. That I can do. <laughs> oh, we're actually going to the Okay, I thought I was just going to fade to black. Hmm, should I get Pookie or an ice cream or... Oh, or I could get... We've been here for 10 minutes. Pacing the store. But Akari is so indecisive when it comes to picking snacks that I am just about to leave her. She finally settles on a pack of mixed chocolate sweets and a lot of a sigh of relief. Why do you always take so long picking out food, Akari? Oh, it's just... I can tell I've had a nerve. I get a little concerned. Uh, Akari? Pop-ups go away. Uh, yes, thank you for the update, the alert, yes. Well, it's just... Mom doesn't really like me having sweets, so I don't get to have them at home to enjoy. I kind of have to hide them, wait them quickly before I get home. Sometimes she finds them and throws them out. Normally when it gets this bad, it's because the person in question is an alcoholic. I had no idea Hikari's mom was so strict. I mean, Hikari's an adult now. She's out of high school. Why can't she enjoy her sweets? I'm sorry, Hikari. I had no idea. Uh, tell you what. You can have your sweets at my place and come over to enjoy them at your own pace. I promise I won't eat them either. Unless I forget to do my shopping and have no food in the house. I can see Hikari tear up a little. My friend. My one true friend. I knew you'd understand. Always there for me. Thank you, Edison. My hero. You really are a good friend. I flash Shikari a devilish grin, though I'm sure it came off kind of creepy because she starts laughing. <laughs> we go back to the counter to pay. This game is a little too relatable sometimes. <laughs> we go back to the counter to pay and I notice Shikari sets her sweets next to mine and takes a step back. <laughs> Remember the money? I forgot. She spent a little money at the arcade. <laughs> oh, that was good. That's cute. That's very cute. <laughs> uh, I mean, I meant to check the schedule. Right, you'd be in the forest. So you're 13, 11, you're the only one who's not just rich above 10. Okay, I've got to figure out what they like. I've got, I've, I've got to remember what I've given them to. Because... You like croissants. Uh, I know you like um, the that hot pot. I forgot what it's called. Uh, you did I give you anything yet? It was probably if I did, it would have been before out of the date. Uh, that might have been what got you the ten. Um, did I get, try to give you Taiyaki maybe? No idea. All I can think of is pizza. I don't know. You want that amulet, I'm pretty sure. That's my bet, at least. God, I was so surprised that she wanted the gloves. Uh, right, I'll just have to do more checking, I guess. Just buy more stuff. Um, for now, though, I'll already read the book and get rid of it. One turtle left to read. Dive into the book. Time picks by. I have finished reading the book. And it's still to be, but oh yeah. Yeah, I mean... I expected as much. Time to get some sleep. Right. And today is exams. And I'm going to end this episode here on the dawn of the Great Terror. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. The date with the card was really cute. Uh, and I'll see you in the next episode when hell begins. <laughs>